This is an emergency tip. Emergency tip. If you're thinking about purchasing this awesome telescope or have it already on the way, you'll want to remember this important idea. Do not let your excitement get the better of you. I know that you want to rip into the packaging, throw it away, and start setting your telescope up. But don't make this one simple mistake. Make sure to save some of the foam packaging that the telescope comes with. Don't throw it away. It works great for helping you safely transport the telescope in your vehicle without needing to worry about damage or having to recolumate it at your destination. Also, make sure to save the packaging next time you purchase a firearm silencer because the packaging for that can similarly come in handy for storing eyepieces and other accessories. This has concluded the emergency tip. Please enjoy this unsponsored night vision review of the Celestron StarSense Explorer 8-inch Dobsonian Telescope from a real customer, and be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, comment, and share for more. Let's be honest, we all know that an 8-inch Dobsonian telescope is generally considered the way to go if you're wanting a satisfactory observation experience, especially as a beginner astronomer or someone who's only looking to acquire one telescope. Going even further, we also know that Celestron is a reputable company in this, well, space for lack of a better term. It's reasonable to suspect that a company such as Celestron will have the 8-inch Dobsonian platform refined to near perfection, and I'm happy to report that this is indeed the case. Observing through this telescope is a fascinating experience that, with realistic expectations, leaves virtually nothing left to be desired. I remember my first experience with this telescope when Saturn was just overhead. I thought, man, if I could see Saturn, that would be so cool, but I had no idea what to expect. My face lit up with joy when I looked through the eyepiece and saw not only Saturn, but also the planet's rings. Seeing color on the planet Jupiter was also a pleasantly surprising experience. The detail of the moon was something to behold, and I'd be lying if I said that I did not look like a madman out there moving the telescope around from object to object like a true astronomy wizard. Honestly, if you were looking at me from afar, you'd probably think that I was highly experienced and actually knew what I was doing. I just could not fail out there. That wasn't due only to the telescope, though. It was due to the real reason why you're looking at this telescope kit. Because of the StarSense app that uses plate-solving technology along with your phone to guide you across the sky and literally show you exactly how to position the telescope to see whatever is available that night. Not only does this technology work, but I have never had it fail on me, and there are even more benefits of using the app itself. The app will tell you exactly what objects are within sight of your position, and it will provide you with information, read out loud to you even, about the object that you are looking at. Talk about an all-in-one experience, and it really does come in handy because you're going to observe so many things in one session that you're bound to find objects that you've never heard of before. It's so unique to learn about a space object for the first time while actually viewing it in real time. This is a highly recommended experience. Now, to make all of this work as perfectly as I describe, you will have to put in some effort, but thankfully, it's nothing that you can't handle on a peaceful evening. Set aside some time to assemble the Dobsonian base and follow the instructions carefully. Through no fault of the instructions, I actually assembled the base incorrectly the first time around, but this was ultimately an easy fix and did not take much time at all. The process of moving this unit around as a whole on my own is not very difficult. It simply just takes one trip with the base and accessories, then one other trip with the telescope. Speaking of accessories, here's what I have and recommend as well as something that I don't really find necessary after playing around with it. The most important accessories that the telescope comes with are the collimation cap and 25mm eyepiece. Coming from the firearms world, I must say that the included red dot is adorable, but you honestly won't even be needing it most of the time because of course you'll be taking advantage of the StarSense technology to navigate through the sky. It does work great though for aligning your phone's image with the telescope's image at the very beginning of your observation session. I love the 25mm eyepiece and use it maybe 30% of the time, but I highly recommend acquiring a 9mm eyepiece as well. In my opinion, with these two eyepieces you can feel satisfied as an amateur astronomer.
The 25 millimeter eyepiece is great if you want a carefree wide angle view where you can easily find objects without worrying about tracking them by moving the telescope. Even when wanting to use the 9mm eyepiece, it's sometimes easier to find the object first with the 25mm than switch to the 9mm. Now the 9mm is what I found to be a great in between with its own benefits and downfalls. It's my eyepiece of choice probably 60% of the time, and as I already said, it will be more difficult to find an object only with the 9mm eyepiece, but it's still very much possible. What's awesome about it though is that the 9mm eyepiece provides the perfect amount of magnification for most observation in my opinion. That's because it provides significantly more detail than the 25mm without having to worry much about tracking objects by moving the telescope. I'm telling you now, the first time that you find a satellite with your 9mm eyepiece, you will not care about having to track it because it's super fun in that case and very rewarding due to how awesome the experience is. The issue I have with tracking is during casual observation of planets where I really just want to get a good look at them and this exact tracking issue is why I will not recommend the 4mm eyepiece that I have. That's just a little bit too much even in great viewing conditions. The magnification is very high and you better be ready to really work for an image in the first place because you will be tracking whatever you're looking at during the entire duration. The only other accessory that I ultimately do find to be a must is a quality moon filter. This makes moon observations so much better. It does not take a genius to recognize that the moon is a very bright object in the sky while these telescopes are meant for viewing very distant and faint objects. A moon filter makes the moon so much more pleasant to view. I don't think that you need to worry about a laser collimator with this setup. The provided cap is absolutely adequate, but of course you can do whatever you please in that regard. I can say that as a beginner the idea of collimating this telescope was daunting, but I now wish that I hadn't put too much thought into it. The process is very straightforward, and though it may be somewhat antiquated relative to better collimation techniques that you will find in higher end models, the old hex key method is fine as long as you grab the experience by the horns and treat it like a skill that nearly all astronomers have to master. Something so simple can be looked at as a rite of passage if you have the right mindset. In conclusion, I want you to take this point away if nothing else from this video. I probably would not own a telescope if this specific product did not exist. I just have too many other hobbies and obligations to plan for. I can't dedicate a bunch of time to studying the sky, learning sky charts and constellations, figuring out how to star hop and find exactly what I want to view, find what can be viewed in the first place, and learn about it beforehand. I have whatever time I have to go out and perform astronomy whenever I can, and I need something that can provide an all-in-one experience. This does that for me, and for that I must thank Celestron. I would absolutely recommend this product. Hey, if you stuck around this far into the video, then once again be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share as a thanks because I don't know about you, but I really appreciate reviews from real customers who do more than just read product descriptions and spec sheets. This channel is dedicated to all things night related with a slant towards night vision and I'm sure that you could benefit from it. And here's a little reward for making it this far in the video. One last tip. Download the Clear Outside app. This app is an amazing resource for being able to schedule your observations because it will tell you ahead of time what the conditions will look like for you, especially relative to cloud coverage. I find it to be extremely accurate and certainly worth the free download which once again enhances the overall experience because you won't be wasting time wondering what tonight's conditions will be looking like. Don't hype yourself up and get everything prepared just to find out that there's 100% cloud coverage tonight. Let it help you, and I hope that this video helped you. Remember, my friend, don't have a good day. Have a good night.